been a great meeting. One of the things I noticed about your meeting is that out of the 21 people presenting, you had half of them were not management. So that's really the Comcast culture of inclusion. So tell me, how did that work and why did you do that? What was your strategy? That's a great question. Uh, you know, inclusion uh, to me is... <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I've got to just get my, get my thoughts here, inclusion. Why did I do that, right? Okay. So, um, you know, I believe in our people. And I believe in providing and generating opportunities to allow people to shine. So I, I sort of look at it in terms of, like, a little lot like social media, is that when we're having a meeting, we want user-generated content. You don't know where the next great idea is, to, is going to come from. And if you don't create an environment in which those ideas can shine through, you'll never find them. That's great. And so when you are in your office, it's a nice glass office, yeah. and you look out and you see inclusion happening, what does it look like? In, well, in, inclusion looks like people smiling, waving their arms, working on projects together, uh, identifying challenges, creating opportunities, uh, generating new ideas, and sharing success. And how has it made you a better leader? Oh, better leader. Well, I'm still working on that. <laughs> I think I think that the I, I think the idea of inclusion makes leadership easier, right? So if we're going to be successful, it's because because the team decides to be successful. Like there is no try, there's just do. So the more that you're the more that you're inclusive the more that you're harnessing all the power of the crowd, like crowdsourcing. So we're inclusive sourcing, right? We're, jet, we're we've got great talent. And the, for me as a leader is to let that talent do. Thank you. Okay.